state diagram. <coughs> States would there be in this uh, in this stage? There are two flip flops. Yeah. Each can have two uh, memory of two. Uh, excuse me, uh, two uh, two possibilities. So you have two to the second power. So there's four states. So states just have to have to do with the memory. States are the uh, the uh, the total number of memory configurations. Here there's four, and let's draw these. So I can have zero, zero is one state, zero, one, 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 and one, zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw edges indicating which states can be accessed from which other states. And on those edges, so here's my, this will be, uh, this will indicate an allowed transition. And on that state, I'm going to write uh, one bit as the input, then a slash, and then out one, out two as the outputs corresponding to that transition. So from zero, zero, we start in state zero, zero. What are, there's uh, two possible next states, what are they? Um, so think about the input, so. Yeah, zero, zero is a possible next state, because if I put in a zero, I'm gonna shift it in here, and this zero will go over here. And if I put in a one here, then that'll be one, zero. So the only two possible states I can get to from zero, zero are itself, get to myself here if I input a zero, in which case the output is what? If I have zero, 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 this is zero, and that is zero. Um, one zero, I get to one zero on an input one, and what are my outputs in that case? Then I have one zero, zero. One, one. Um, 
input 0, 0, 1, 0, so that's 1, 0. Input 1, it's 1, 1, 0, which is 0, and that's 1. So I can't remember if I said that correctly, but I wrote it down wrong. Okay, uh, state one one. State one one, what are my next two possible states? So if I have an input zero, my next state is zero one. If I have an input one, my next state is one one. So I can go to myself, or I can go to zero one. I go to one one on an input one, and I have one one one. Uh, the top output is one, the bottom output is zero. I go to zero one on an input zero, and um, the top output is zero, and the bottom output. state is 0, 1, zero, zero, one zero. I can go to 0, 0, or 1, 0, that's right. So I go to 0, 0 on an input 0, in which case my outputs are uh, 1, 1, and I go to 1, 0, on The state diagram makes it quite easy to, to, um, to encode because all you're doing is basically crossing edges. So let's let me give you the uh, let me let's have a new message um, zero one zero one zero zero and we start in the we start in the zero state start in the zero state so. Um, First input bit is zero, so we go around here and pick up the zero zero. We're still in the zero state. Input one, we pick up uh, one one, and up here. Uh, input zero, we pick up a one zero and end up here. Input one. Pick up a zero, zero, and end up here. Input zero, pick up a one, zero, and end up here. And then the final input zero, pick up a one, one, and end up here. So, important to notice, we started in the zero state, and because I added these two zeros at the end, we ended in the zero state. Therefore, this is our message, and this is the resulting code.